Welcome to the episode of Love and Reality Podcast. I am your host, Ricky Valero. On today's episode, we're going to continue recapping The Anonymous with episode nine. If you aren't watching the show, guys, you really are missing out. A fun and creative reality TV show that keeps you just on the edge of your seat. I've really, really found myself enjoying this season, and we've seen so many people come and go over this eight episodes, and we're inching closer and closer to the finale here. And folks, we've seen... Robbie, Cassie, Tyrena, Sydney, Xavier, Wayne, all be eliminated from this show. And you know what? We knew. We knew that there could potentially be a big dog leaving this week. And you know what, folks? Let's go ahead and dive right into episode nine. All right. So it was either Bisma, Jack, or Lily that was going to be eliminated. And the anonymous was either going to be Andy or Victoria. And holy cow, drop the bomb we have eliminated the big one on the show i'm going to mark it off on the screen for you guys by by what i believe and i think a lot of you believe was one of the strongest players to date and that was jack i think he got really 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 greedy over the last couple of weeks and then especially with xavier leading he kind of lost his shield and now Victoria won anonymous mode and took a chance at eliminating Jack, which was the great strategic play by her, really vaulting up. I talked about her last week and talked about how she continues to be a strong player within this game. And yeah, I just, Lily and Victoria slaying the beast. There was women going home each and every week. But now you know what? The women are, are shaking things up a little bit on their side. I think, what are we at? One, two, three, four. Four women and four men left, down to eight people here in episode nine. Of course, Jack reveals that he was Flamingo, and everybody was shocked. And then one of the things, uh, that ex this is one of the interesting things about this show that I, I found interesting what Xavier said. If you have people that um, pinpoint you as the wrong digital handle, you're only helping them win the anonymous, right? So if you think that this specific person is not this, not this digital handle, that gives them the opportunity to really be that handle. And Jack was kind of, you know, playing playing his cards in an interesting way. And then, of course, before Flamingo, he was football. And Andy was a little bit of a sad panda, realizing that to his face, he was saying nice things, and then behind his back was trying to really throw him under the back, under the bus. Um, let's see here. Uh, Andy is really befuddled, sad, and he's sad missing Jack. He believes it, and then uh, Dylan, uh, and he believes it was Dylan, so he wants Dylan gone. Um, definitely interesting to think that he thought Dylan was it. Maybe that's why Andy hasn't been the, uh, you know, the person. You know what I'm saying? Because the anonymous yet, because he's just, he's, I don't feel like he's very good at this game. And I just feel like he's kind of sneaking on by. No offense to Andy. I like Andy. We talked to Andy earlier this year. All right. Uh, let's see here. Victoria is a moving target for uh, moving. Uh, is a moving target for Christopher. Bisma thinks Victoria is cactus, and boom, she is smart. Bisma might ne might need to uh, go home um, if Victoria is smart. Uh, Andy says Chris and Victoria need to go. Um, let's see here. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is we're in anonymous mode now. Sorry, anonymous mode. Anonymous mode. Anonymous mode. Why can I rewind a little bit? Why did I jump so far ahead, guys? Sorry. Let's rewind. All right, Nina's talking to Lily about Robot and having them uh, having them eliminate her next. He, of course, funny enough, Lily is Robot. Chris says Nina's running the game, and he, Victoria, and Marcel are the pawns. Nah, fam, your girl is running the show, and you are a pawn to her. All right, the anonymous mode. Let's enter there before we get too crazy into this thing. The two players with the most votes will be on the block tonight. Not like before where you're just cowling up the tab if you get one vote. No, the two people with the most votes are going up on the block. Nina says Andy's confidence is gone. Obviously, this is an anonymous mode. Ina says Andy's confidence has gone away with Jack uh, being gone. Uh, Andy brings up Dylan being so quiet after Jack's elimination. Victoria uh, moves her target to Christopher. Bisma thinks Victoria is cactus. Again, very smart. Andy says Chris and Victoria need to go, which is hilarious. Nina said cactus said Chris's time's up, but who would be better to go home, Victoria or Chris? Um, Andy said he's prepared to vote Dylan or, lo or the Lovebirds. Robot says, who's first, Dylan, Chris, or Victoria, which is hilarious because Chris says Miss Team Nina wants to switch now. Um, and then let's see here. All right. Who is ready for the votes? 
because I know this was crazy because again, you don't know who's going on, you know, who's going on the block, of course, because it's like, all right, like, you know, two people, it's a two V two scenario, whoever gets the most votes. All right. Popsicle. AKA Dylan voted for himself. Interesting move. Lightning, which is Andy lipstick. This is Chris Bismuth. That is Eagle all voted for Dylan robot. AKA Lily for the first time shifted away from voting for Nina and voted for Chris. I love the gameplay here. Um, and then Marcel voted for Lily again. Um, Nina fire voted for Chris cactus. Victoria voted for Chris. She's a sad panda. So it's going to be Chris versus Dylan. Not sure how Christopher doesn't go home, to be honest, unless Victoria wins the anonymous. That's the only way, honestly. Uh, Dylan said he's going to go into silent mode whenever he gets back into the house. He goes back to the house and doesn't say a word. Nina tries to come talk to him. Doesn't say anything at all. Folks, guess what? We are having face-off. Okay, but this is crazy. This, this week's crazy face-off was this. In this face-off, the safe players will be competing inside the boxes. There's, there's a, was it five people? Yeah, five. So we have Andy, Nina, Bisma, Victoria, and Marcel are the five people playing. And there's two at-risk boxes inside the face-off game. Andy's up first. He takes a box. And then Nina's up next and takes Andy's box. And he selects another box and said, is that safe? It was safe. So Marcel selects a box and said he got at risk. Marcel's like the king of this game. We saw already. So he's won it a couple times. Uh, Bisma, and then of course, Bisma takes Nina's box. Crazy. And then Nina picks a new box who says she got saved. So Lily's turn. She picks a new box. And then Victoria goes last and she took the last box. So now we are at the reveal. Bisma reveals her box and it was at risk. So that means Bisma, Bisma took Nina's box and Nina's box was at risk. And then Nina in turn got saved. Insane here. All right. Ina, uh, Ina, Nina safe, Andy safe, Lily safe, Victoria safe. So it's uh, Marcel and Marcel finally lost the game. So. He finally lost his at, uh, and had the last at risk. So Bisma, Marcel, Dylan, and Chris are for uh, for elimination. It's announced that the final game of the show will be a face off, and that's how it's, we're going to determine who the winner of anonymous mode is. And that's why they've played this game so much is to watch how other people play the game so that you know and maybe get some inklings of how they move or don't move or smile or don't smile when they're in the middle of playing this game. Um, Dylan like goes crazy and speaks out and says, I was uh, silent. And uh, when I was silent, it was so boring in this household and blah, 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 blah. I was like, whatever, bro. Like, who cares? Nobody really cares you were silent, honestly. Like, I just... It was probably a little, a lot less loud in the house when you were silent. All right, here we go. This is, they take the test to see who the anonymous is going to be. It's obviously not Chris because literally everyone thinks that he's lipstick, but the following people are not the anonymous. Bisma, Marcel, Lily, shit, Victoria, Wow, and Dylan are not the anonymous meaning that it's either Andy or Nina. Could Andy finally have figured out how to get this game and get a win this late in the game in the books? Definitely would be interesting. So it's Bisma, Marcel, Dylan, and Chris. And I write these notes before I uh, before I find out their actual reveals, right? So I thought if Andy wins, it's 100% Dylan. But if it's Nina, I think Chris is gone. However... After this, it is revealed our two people that are safe are Christopher and Marcel. So I think it's weird. I think Dylan has to go. It has to be Andy. And I think Andy is the one that does it, which is a great, great. I don't know if it's a great gameplay or not. Honestly, I think it's like a revenge gameplay, which might kind of turn around and bite him in the ass. But looking at the people left, Bisma's, oh, I don't know. Maybe Bisma is the best game player left. I don't know. Maybe she really is a good game. I think she is a good game player. Maybe it's a good decision. I think Andy would have, if Andy won, he eliminated Dylan. Perfect, right? If Nina wins, I think she eliminates Bisma, right? But I'm, I 
guess as the, out of the four of Bisma, Marcel, Dylan, and Chris, I guess I would be, I would eliminate Bisma too, probably. I guess I would too. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below who you think is going to be eliminated on this week's episode of the, or next week's episode of The Anonymous. And let me know who you think is going to win. That's the one that I want to really, really know from you guys. Who do you think is going to win The Anonymous? My top three right now continues are Victoria, Nina, and Lily. Those are still my top three again this week. Let me know in the comments below. I don't know if next week is the finale, but it would be interesting if it is. If it is, we're going to be find out who, who's crowned the anonymous next week. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of the Love and Reality Podcast. I will be talking to you guys very soon.